As a recent coding bootcamp graduate, you need to know what to expect in your upcoming job interviews. And while the phone interview is important, you'll also have to carefully prepare for the whiteboarding interview if you want a shot at landing the best job. Not all whiteboarding interview questions are the same, but knowing a few common sample questions can help you prepare. Plus, a little bit of inside knowledge can help you get a leg up on the competition and secure those top job offers. In this video, we'll give you examples of common whiteboarding interview questions to give you an idea of what to expect. Remember, whiteboard interview questions are designed to test your coding knowledge without allowing you to rely on running your code to identify bugs. So we'll show you how to get into the right frame of mind to answer any questions the interviewers send your way. Because coding careers are in high demand and there are lots of online tutorials that teach you how to build basic website clones, hiring managers rely heavily on conceptual questions to weed out unqualified candidates. These basic language and system design questions are like a secret handshake. The candidates who know the answers can move on and the ones who can't answer get sent away. Be ready to answer questions about keyword meanings and other language specific ideas. If you're interviewing for JavaScript roles, make sure you can explain closures, the this keyword, prototypal inheritance, and other core concepts. If the company is asking you a system design question, make sure to ask lots of questions about system requirements, like how many users will be using the service, core functionality, and database load, and so on. I recommend checking out company engineering blogs for Uber, Netflix, and Twitter uh, to learn how they scale their services to millions of users. YouTube is surprisingly another great way to learn in less than 10 minutes how particular companies design their systems. So go ahead and check it out. Big tech companies are notorious for asking data structure and algorithm questions. Make sure to study the Cracking the Coding interview book or interview cake to get familiar with binary trees, quick sorts, heaps, and hashes and other data structures. Make sure you can explain the time and space complexity of all your algorithm solutions and make appropriate optimizations. Since you're applying for a programming gig, it's pretty obvious that the company will want to see that you can actually code. During the interview, don't be surprised to get some questions designed to test the depth and breadth of your programming ability. Some companies will give you a take-home challenge and others will ask you to build something in their office by pair programming with one of their engineers. Best way to prepare for live coding challenges is by pair programming with other engineers as you're building your projects. Asking questions about the requirements upfront and communicating your solution before jumping into coding will help demonstrate your thoughtfulness in your approach. Now, there's a lot more you'll need to master in order to become a whiteboard interview ninja, but remember that practice makes perfect. When I was going through the job search, I practiced solving one algorithm or data structure problem each day for several months. After 20 minutes, if I still didn't know how to solve a particular problem, I would study the solution and add it back to my list of problems to solve. After being disciplined for three months straight, I became super comfortable solving these problems and began getting job offers from companies I was interviewing with. Remember that job search can be a grueling process, but stay organized and disciplined will help you get those on-site interviews and ultimately those job offers. Comment below what algorithms or data structures you find most challenging and let's break in.